So this time around, we're going to be covering trees and ultimately uh, heaps, since heaps are just a specialized tree. Some of the concepts behind trees. This is uh, going to go a bit more in depth than lists. They are a rather sophisticated data structure, so um, it'll be a lot of explaining. Add goes fairly simple. Uh, we want to add a one. You add a one end at the top. Add a two. The two gets added as a branch. So unlike a list, they're not chained together. Uh, they do branch off. With the most typical type of tree being a binary tree. So that is each node branches off into two other nodes. Um, there are others. Uh, there are trinaries, uh, like two, two, three, four trees, and there I've even seen only once uh, an unbounded tree, uh, one that could accept any number of child nodes. Um, given what trees are normally used for, you usually just see binary trees. But then we want to go add a three. Three gets added to the other side. Uh, now, one important thing with trees is generally you try to limit the number of levels. Um, and that's to help improve on what they were created for. But if you were to just continuously chain on to the to one node, you'd, you'd just wind up with a list anyways. Um, so the, the, you generally try to limit the number of levels. I'm going to add a 4 on. Since the uh, first node is already filled, you have to go down to the second level and find the first empty spot. And then similarly, to add on a 5, we can add that onto the 2, since the 2 still has an empty node. Oh. Um, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, yeah, we're fine. As for deleting, this one mostly works as you'd think until you start deleting nodes that have children. So, for example, if you want to delete a 5, it's very straightforward. You just clear out that node. <clears throat> On the other hand, if you want to delete, say, the 2, you actually have to you know, store the 4, delete the 2, move the floor over, and then relink. Now, if you're just the one using the tree, you don't actually have to mentally consider all this stuff. You just delete two, and it, that's what happens. But there's also an operation called prune. Let's say you want to delete two, but also delete everything that is a child of two. That's what pruning is. You go through, remove the child nodes of it, and then remove two. Uh, similarly, you have graft, where you can take a another tree, or part of another tree, and graft it onto the existing tree. Now, as for different types of trees, uh, similarly to the list, there's just a lot of them, and it has to do with why uh, trees were really created in the first place. I will get into that bit in the use cases, uh, but there's a lot of different optimizations for trees, which creates just dozens, literally dozens of different types of trees. There is one I want to mention here because it behaves a little bit uniquely to the other uh, trees, and that's a heap. Uh, heaps are a tree that, with a really bad definition, uh, enforce the heap policy. That is, <clears throat> the data in the heap, but well, it'll be easier to just show it. That's kind of why these are here. So for adding to the heap, 
let's say we have a 10. You want to add on an 8. That can be added as, in as a child just fine. Add on a 5. Again, that can be added as a child just fine. Add on a 2. That's fine. Add on a 6. That's fine. But if we want to add a 7 to what is otherwise a max heap, you may notice that each parent is a larger value than its children. And each child here is smaller than 7. So you cannot add 7 as a child. Instead, what has to be done is breaking off the 5 moving the 7 up to be the child of 10, and then making 5 the child of 7. Otherwise, all the operations are the same, as long as the end result still satisfies the heat principle. So as for uses of trees, it's a lot. Just like lists, they are very sophisticated data structures, which makes them useful for a lot of different purposes. Uh, but you do see them very common for sorting data, and that's sort of how they originated, uh, especially the heap. Uh, the heap was created to implement the heap sort algorithm. Um, but they're very good for that. But they are also useful for the random access of data. Um, it's quicker to get to any random spot in a tree than it is in a list. And that has to do with trees, different types of trees having different organizational schemes. And you can use that organizational scheme to quickly get to any location. Um, next up, I think we're gonna do buffers. I'm not sure on that one yet though.